Hi, this is Misha. And uh, recently, we, recently we did a video on the Beretta M9. Rest in peace, the M9, with the adoption of the SIG 320 as the M17. And a few people asked me about the uh, 226 Mark 25. And so I thought we'd do a little video here on the, uh, on the SIGs in military service. In my hand are a Mark 25 and a SIG P320. Start with the Mark 25. In the XM9 trials in 1984, 1985, the SIG-226 was neck and neck with the Beretta 92FS. In the end, or I should say, let me back up this before someone comments, the 92SBF, also known as the 92F. The FS I know came later in 88. Anyway, so the, the, the Beretta won, but SIG wasn't completely out of the running. A lot of people liked the 226. And a short time later, the compact version, known as the P228, was adopted as the M11, and it was issued to um, plainclothes type police units, smaller stature people, people needing a more compact weapon. The Navy, in turn, did adopt the P226 as the Mark 25, primarily used by the Navy SEALs, and it has been in service up until recently. Now this is a special edition that Sig Sauer has done for a few years called the Mark 25, and it is, according to them, exactly what they're shipping or have been shipping to the uh, U.S. Navy Navy SEALs. It has a parkerized finish. Now, most of the small parts are also parkerized, phosphated. It is supposedly highly corrosion resistant. I'm not willing to dunk mine in a creek and let it set for two weeks to see just how resistant it really is, but I'll take their word for it. It comes with SIG light night sights. It has a true Picatinny rail on the bottom, which is uh, flat. The SIG rail is actually has a little bit of a bow or a curve to it on the standard 226R has standard uh, SIG grips, has a lanyard point in the back, has phosphated 15 shot mags and comes with three of them as opposed to two. And we have a little UED label on the side, little sticker with barcode, which is kind of neat. So we took this out today to shoot. It's extremely well shooting gun. Has a very nice trigger, even in double and in single. The only thing to say is it does have a uh, Bit of a long reset and single action, but other than that, it's a phenomenally nice gun to shoot. That would bring it out today. It performed very well with all types of ammo. And this is with the, the SIG that was in U.S. military service for the past uh, 20 years or so. The P226 Mark 25. But recently, as most everyone probably knows, in January of 2017, the U.S. military uh, adopted the SIG P320 as the M17 and this is what it is here. Now there's a lot of great videos out there talking about the features of this gun so I'll just go over them quickly. We've got a pretty standard striker fired gun. That's just uh, kind of like on an Uzi to click. It's not actually refining. It doesn't have double strike capability. You have to cock it again. We have front and rear slide serrations. Obviously no hammer in the back. A very SIG style coarse checkered grip. We have a true Picatinny rail again. This one has five slots so it's longer than on the Mark 25. The mags are interesting. They're marked 17 rounds. But we could only get 16 in both of the mags that came with this one so I'm not sure what the story is there. We have an ambidextrous slide release. This is the civilian version, so it does not have a manual safety. The military version does have an ambidextrous thumb safety as well. Similar to what you might see on a, a Smith & Wesson M&P or something. I haven't actually held one, so I can't speak to it. From, but from what I've read, they're actually a, a well-done thumb safety as far as that goes. We have a tang back here, so you can have a pretty high grip. And of course, this pistol's biggest claim to fame is that it has an internal chassis made of steel. You can see the serial number right in there. That's the gun part. So this whole polymer lower 
frame is not a gun. You can swap it out to have different colors or different sizes. This is the full size with a full size grip and a 4.7 inch barrel. There's also a compact with a 3.9 inch barrel and a subcompact with a 3.6 inch barrel. And there's a compact grip to make it smaller as a carry gun called the P320 carry. You can buy conversion kits to turn any of the P320s into any of those. This one's in 9mm as the military gun is. You can also buy conversion kits to fire 357 SIG or 40 Smith & Wesson out of this. However, the 45 version is not caliber interchangeable because it uses a slightly larger magwell in here. So, if you go 45, you're, you're pretty much doing that. So yeah, we took this uh, P320 out today and shot you know, a couple of boxes through it. We had no problems with Blazer or Brass Max, but for some reason we had some minor issues with Fioki. We had some easy to clear stove pipes and we had a few uh, fails to eject and fails to hold the, uh, the bolt, or excuse me, the slide back. So we had some trouble with Fioki, but the other two types we tried, it ran fine. It was pleasant to fire. It was interesting. We both commented that it kind of reminded us of the IWI Jericho 941 with the polymer frame. It has some flip to it because it's very kind of top heavy, but it's not an unpleasant flip at all. It's still a very nice recoil, kind of has an, has an arc to it. So uh, as far as polymer guns go, it's kind of hard to stand out from the crowd. There's so many polymer striker types, but um, it's not a bad one, and uh, with the chassis system, I can see definitely why it would be appealing to some people. So um, we were afraid at first we were having some reliability issues, but we're going to tentatively say it was ammo related. Of course, we'll put more rounds through it as, as time goes on. It's getting dark, and it's about time to pack up today. But uh, we wanted to acknowledge the SIGs in military service because we did acknowledge the Berettas, and uh, there have definitely been plenty of, uh, of SIG sours in the, in the U.S. military. And they are very fine weapons, and uh, these days these are made all in the USA up in New Hampshire. And uh, I guess we'll see how the M17 contract goes for SIG. Well, we appreciate you tuning in. If you like to talk about SIG pistols, let's do it in the comments. And if you like the video, please click that and uh, check in again soon for hopefully more interesting videos.